Good morning, everybody. All right, it's uh, April 10th. Uh, this will be another timber project video. So I come up here, Troy's up on the hill. He already brought a couple, three skid loader loads of logs down. So I'm gonna walk up through here and show you here. So let me see if I can so you can see here, it's really starting to open this up and there's some really beautiful pole timber in here yet. So that'll give that some relief and uh, release those other trees and get some browse in here for the deer. But we're going to walk up here so you guys can see. Troy's up here cutting another log. He was in early this morning. Sounds like he's hooking up. Well, that don't look good. Looks like that tree might have had metal in it too. I don't know. He's back around here. He took a load down over there. Boy, that looks steep, but I guess it's not bad for a skitter. Lots of firewood there. Let that dry out this summer a bit. And then we'll just start cut all these tops and stuff up and then I'll just stack them between these trees and then just bring the truck up and just load it up already cut ready to go and I cut that one there down let's see where else he's got here he hadn't done anything down over that side yet he's just kind of working up this point I think just so he can because this is where all the main skid trails and stuff are from the last log job. So I think he's just working up over here to open everything up. Boy, this really opened it up here too. Yeah, I think he's just working this point. Here you can see a skidder down there. I don't want to get too close because I don't know if he's dropping a tree or what. And I got dark clothes on so I know he can't see me. And I know he can't hear me because the skitter's running and the chainsaw's running. There's some more nice firewood there. That oak's going to die. I think he's pretty much all he's cut here is the red or the white oak. He took some maple down, but like here's a hickory. Here's a hickory it's marked. Let's see if I can. Yeah, he's down there. I'm gonna pause this for a minute until I see what he's doing here. And then we'll come right back at you with some live action. Here we go. He's getting ready to cut a tree down here. So we'll see if it shows up. I'll try and get in a, I'm in a pretty decent spot here. You guys can see it fall. Looks like he's going to drop it away from us here. Looks like another white oak. All right, he's doing his back cut.
Whew, that must be a big one. He's working pretty hard. A lot of these white oaks in here are pretty mature, so the butt logs are, or the stumpage is pretty thick. Most of them I've seen are at least 30 inches at the stump or the butt. Well, she's still hanging on. He looked up the tree like, what the crap is holding this thing? Oh, there's some live action. There she goes. All right, I'm going to walk down there. He hasn't, he hasn't seen me yet. <laughs> so we'll see. I'll sneak around here. I've got a big top on her. Alright, Troy's, Troy's coming behind me there. He said down here on the front side of this hill, there's quite a few sugar maples marked. I'm pretty sure Steve and I looked at that a couple times, but I'm going to go down and just check that out real quick before I go. I think Troy's going to hook up these couple here and bring them down. And then uh, keep working up the ridge there. There's not a lot down there over that other side in that gut, so I think he's pretty much done over there. He's got to come around this front side. There's some more over here, but... Anyway, all right, I'm going to pause this for a minute. We're going to get down, down here and look at these maples. All right, so I'm going to film this driving one-handed on the four-wheeler, and you're probably not going to be able to tell how steep this is, but for those of you who know, it's pretty dang steep, but this is where he's bringing the logs down over. Here we go. Alright, so up here is where he was talking about the hard maple. That one's not marked. These are all my tap trees. We're gonna we're gonna walk out here. Shut that off a minute. There's one other, one or two more tap trees out here. Yeah, see, that's a lead tree. Now down over here on this side hill, there's some maple but I can't really get to them real easily without uh, a lot of trouble especially when you're bucketing the sap out so we went ahead and marked them now there is one that just made me think there's a double out here it's one of my best tap trees I'm gonna walk out here and make sure he didn't mark that I'm gonna pause this for a minute
and we'll be right back with some live action. All right, there's a professional logger. His daddy was a logger. Just look at that old husky around. <laughs> All right, Troy's up there in the hill. I just got back down here. So he's got a, I'd say he don't have quite a load here yet, but you can see here from the end, he's working on a, working on a decent load of logs. So I imagine as soon as he can get the log truck in here, but you see, we got this pipe here and out there he's waiting on shale but the guy hasn't brought him any shale lately <clears throat> all nice timber that soft maple there that's a pretty big tree i'm not sure where that one came from oh yeah and i don't know i know where it came from if you don't know where your logs are coming from you're not spending enough time on your property Alright, well, that looks pretty good. I'm going to go up here and check out what the Fish and Wildlife guys are doing. It's getting kind of late in the morning. i got to head to the chiropractor and get ready for work. So, that's it for this video, folks. God bless each and every one of you. I'll see you on the next one.